Hey y'all, it's Sheree. What's up? Back with another video. If you're new here and you've never seen my face, would you like my face? <laughs> Definitely make sure to subscribe so you can stick around. Give this video a thumbs up. It like goes such a long way to support my channel. Um, this is the last video like this I'm going to do on my channel. I want to create content that y'all want to watch, that y'all enjoy. And when I first started doing these videos, I felt like there was a need to do these videos. There was enthusiasm behind me doing these videos. Y'all seem to really enjoy it. And just over time, the enthusiasm, the enthusiasm dwindled, your interest declined, and I just don't feel a need to do empties videos anymore. So this is going to be my last empties video on my channel. There was a time on YouTube where empties were everything, and I think that time has passed, that ship has sailed. I'm gonna start with natural hair, because that is what this channel was built on. Let's start with shampoo. I used up the Monday Moisture Shampoo, and honestly, and hopefully you can see it, but I'm not going to be doing individual close-ups just because it don't matter. So I'll just link the products that I most enjoyed, the things that I think you'd be most interested in. I will link some things down below, but I'm not going to link everything. It's a lot. So the answer is no. I won't pretend that I use up this shampoo. Really, it was Richmond that used it up. Alexis sent us a whole bunch of shampoos, and Richmond used up most of this, but I used it at the very end, and this is actually a really moisturizing shampoo. I did not expect that. I thought it would be stripping, but it says it's a moisture shampoo, and it is. It's super affordable. I think it's usually around $8 for 12 ounces. If you're looking for an affordable shampoo, I highly recommend this one. Let's talk about some conditioners. The first being the Curls Blueberry Bliss Reparative Hair Mask. Now, I was really excited for this. So this was actually sent to me. It was, this wasn't sent to me. It was given to me by Curls during the World Natural Hair Show. They gave me like a goodie bag. And I was excited to try this because there's been so much hype around this in the natural hair community. People have talked, to, people have talked it up for years. And I finally got to try it. And it's just thick and gloopy and it's just not giving um i have really high standards when it comes to products and a lot of y'all don't appreciate that but girl whatever um i've been doing my hair for a long time i've tried a lot of good products and i've tried a lot of bad products i won't say this is trash or basura but I just didn't love it. I didn't enjoy it. I don't think it did anything for my hair. It felt like I did nothing. I ended up just mixing it up into like some DIYs just to use it up. I honestly wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't repurchase it. Um, the answer is no, unfortunately. I really wanted to like it, but I don't. Now moving on to Palmer's. This is their length retention deep conditioner. I got this when I went to a natural hair event when I first moved here to Jersey. And it just didn't do anything for me. It just didn't do anything for me. I wanted to love this as well, especially because it's so affordable. But it was basic. It just it was just okay. It was literally was just okay. The Bomb Bar number eight, as well as the Olaplex number eight, I talked about these in a comparison video. If you haven't seen that video, you can definitely check it out. I'm not going to spoil that video. You should definitely see my thoughts. I have one leave-in product. This is the Olaplex number nine. Even though it's technically a serum, Olaplex recommends using this as the first step in your moisture heat protective routine, and that's how I use it. I find it works best that way. With this, you don't want to use a lot of this. I use 12 pumps throughout my entire head, and I'm super heavy-handed. If you use a lot of this, it will flake. Even though I've worn my girls in the insider tee, they don't seem to listen and they have gotten flakes and then they're like oh yeah you did say not to use a lot yeah girl yeah um so you can't use a lot with this it will flake because of the guar gum in this it literally a little does go a long way i hate saying that i always roll my eyes when people say that 
but it's true when it comes to Olaplex. I do have some stylers. I have the Lada Body Mousse, which I've talked about for years. At one point, this was actually my favorite mousse of all time. But unfortunately, or fortunately for me, it has been dethroned by the African Pride uh, curl mousse. I randomly got this from Sally's because I am like a Sally, not like an ambassador, but they do send me like gift cards or products periodically throughout the year. And I just randomly picked this up because I saw like one or two people talk about it, but honestly, people don't really talk about this. I don't know if a lot of body isn't as good as it used to be, or this is just bomb. But this is going to give me a good style every single time. For the last few months when I was using this, it was just style after style that was just giving. I put my girl Tristan of Alexis onto this and she raved about it I think in one of her favorite videos too. If you love a lot of body, you're going to love this. Since then I've tried another mousse that I'm really obsessed with right now. Uh, maybe I'll talk about it in a future video but for now just know this is a top top mousse for type 4 natural hair. It's bomb y'all. Then lastly for natural hair we have the Eva NYC Bounce Back Curl Reviving Mist. Now Eva NYC is a product that doesn't really got get a lot of play in the natural hair community because I don't honestly know if they make products for us and they definitely don't market towards us. But um, I tried their 10 in 1 heat protection and I loved it and I raved about it. And then they sent me some other products including this one. And this is probably one of the best refreshers I've ever used. Even though this is not for type 4 hair technically, all of that hair type crap is really just BS because they don't matter because I love this it's super duper moisturizing the only con for me is that it is tiny it's only five fluid ounces and that's nothing for thick type 4 hair but in terms of the moisture oh the moisture is so damn good like it's so 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 moisturizing I have some other refresher sprays around my house so I'm not gonna pick this up anytime soon but I definitely will purchase this with my own money because it is that moisturizing now let's go into skincare starting with cleansers we're gonna start with cleansing bombs I have two in front of me I have the key soul care nourishing cleansing balm this did have charcoal in it I did enjoy this especially if you have oily skin I think this is going to work the best for you because it does have the charcoal in it which is going to help you know sop up some of that oil off the skin I did enjoy this unfortunately it's not available at all so anymore it's only on the keys website and this is the only product that I've tried from them so I don't see myself going out of my way to go to keys and you know pick this up but it was a nice cleansing balm is it an absolute favorite no I definitely have cleansing balms that I enjoy more but it was nice a cleansing balm that I do love and I have raved about I'm sure it was in one of my favorites I'll definitely link my favorites playlist so you can check out all of my favorites over the last year or so this is the Clinique take the day off balm and take the day off it does in fact do it do it do it do and it's just so freaking good I do do have another one of these I also went through a sample size of it this is something I'm always going to use it's not affordable by any means it does what needs to be done and that's all I ask for it to do you to the people kale and green tea spinach vitamins cleanser I talked about this so many times on my channel I'm pretty sure I made my favorites as well it's definitely not affordable by any stretch of the imagination and I really don't promote uh, expensive cleansers just because you rinse them off right away but I do have some bougie cleansers that I do love including this one and the answer is yes I just love it if you want to splurge on your skin you definitely should pick this up it cleans the skin without stripping the skin I love it so much and I would definitely repurchase this this is a product from a black owned company this is the hyper hyper even gentle brightening cleansing cleansing gel this can be found at Sephora it's one of the few black owned skincare products at Sephora 
I wanted to like this for the culture, but I don't like essential oils in my products when I can smell them. The essential oils in this product is so strong. I definitely think it's a more gentle cleanser, best used in your morning skincare routine. And the texture was cute. It was nice, but I didn't love it. It's not a bad cleanser. Because of that essential oil smell, I can't really get down with it, unfortunately. I have two cleansers from CeraVe, one of my favorite brands when it comes to cleansers. I have the acne control cleanser I wanted to see what this would do and I honestly don't love it um, I've tried this one I've also tried the creamy um, acne cleanser and I don't like them as much as I do the renewing sa cleanser the renewing sa cleanser is my dog she's my girl I do have a second one in my shower right now that's how much I love it these were sent to me by CeraVe but I will pick them up with my own money Thankfully, CeraVe does keep me stocked, but this is the only one I would recommend. This one and the Cream to Foam are forever lifetime favorites. I've raved about both of them on my channel, but the Acne one, eh. It's alright. Let's talk essences and toners. The first being the Pukong Yule Essence Toner. I talked about this in my favorites toner video. If you haven't seen that video, you should definitely check it out. I recommend such amazing products in that video, so I highly recommend you check it out. Like I said, this is bomb, so much moisture, but I'm not going to get too much into it because you know where to find out more. So this product, the Neogen Micro Essence, has been touted as being a dupe for one of my favorite products, which is SK2. And sis, it's just not giving. It's just, just because it's cheap, don't make it a dupe. Just because it's cheap, don't make it good. It's not a bad product. It just doesn't hold a light to SK2, which is my absolute favorite product, and here it is in the empties. I picked this up hoping that I could have a cheaper alternative to SK2, because y'all know this is like $200. I know I'm going to spend some money, but if I can save a coin, I'm going to save a coin, and I could have skipped it. I've tried multiple SK2 dupes, and nothing has come close to replacing SK2 for me. It just hasn't. SK2 is just that girl. It's not in my routine right now because I have so many products I'm, and I'm trying to use them up. But I'm pretty sure by the end of the year I'm going to suck up once again because I just love SK2 and I shall not depart. And lastly for toners is the Good Molecules Glycolic Exfoliating Toner. That's what this looks like. I like this product because it's not as harsh on the skin like the... Uh, ordinary glycolic which is 7% I'm pretty sure this is anywhere from 3 to 5% I can't remember right now but it's way more gentle than the ordinary one so the ordinary one is a bit too strong for your skin and you want something that's a bit gentler I definitely recommend you going this route I didn't use this up on my face just because I don't use exfoliating toners that much I prefer a serum something thicker um, that is just my exfoliation of choice um, so I use this on my underarms and it worked just as good as the ordinary glycolic I'm pretty sure they're around the same price. I probably would go for good molecules just because they're a gentler formula And I don't want to risk any hyperpigmentation and reversing the work I've done on my under underarms on my skin So I would definitely pick this up again. Let's talk serums one of my favorite product categories The first is technically an essence so because of its thickness I use it as a serum I raved about this last year it made my best skincare of 2022 this is the Casa Rex advanced snail 96 mucin power essence this has gone viral on TikTok and on the social medias and of course it did because it's amazing it is the fountain of youth it is suppleness softness smooth skin if you have not tried this you need to peace out dark spot serum this was sent to me by peace out I wish I used this more consistently because I do think that it did help my skin didn't really clear my acne marks again I wasn't using it consistently to know for sure I definitely picked this up myself to try it again but I have so many discoloration serums to go through not only does it have transdemic acid and other ingredients to uh, lighten the hyperpigmentation it also 
also contains AHAs, which are also going to help to lighten. I think it's just a really good combination of ingredients that work together to lighten hyperpigmentation. So it's something that I may pursue in the future. Something that I will not pursue in the future is the Vera Stroke of Brilliance Brightening Serum. This is their vitamin C. It does have a vitamin C derivative. It's not L exorbic acid. And for me, I just don't think it's enough vitamin C to have any true results on my skin. It was hydrating. It did give me a little cute glow. But in terms of fitting my hyperpigmentation or giving me true brightness over time, I don't think it does enough of that for me. Youth to the People Triple Peptide and Cactus Oasis Serum. Now this is a moisturizing, hydrating serum from Youth to the People. The only con for me is the price. It is super duper expensive. It was sent to me by Youth to the People and I did enjoy it. I did love it. But as someone that loves Asian skincare, there's just so many more affordable options. If I'm ever in my bougie mood, it's definitely something I would pick up because it did a great job of hydrating and plumping my skin but I can get three or four serums from Asia for the price of this so I wouldn't run out to get it but it is amazing and super hydrating to the skin and then lastly for serums is the Avin Retronal Advanced Correcting Serum this was actually a really good serum as well the only con for me again is the price I think it's about like 80 or 90 dollars for one fluid ounce and as someone with a big old face that goes through serums really fast I would need to get this on sale if I ever go back to France, it's not my favorite European country, but if I ever find myself back in France, that's where Avin is based out of, it's definitely way more affordable in France, so I would pick it up. If Avin had a really good sale where this was 50% off, I would pick this up because I felt like it really hydrated my skin. I definitely felt like my skin was nice and smooth when I used it. I think it's a really good serum. It has rave reviews on online, but that price, oh... That price, that price, <laughs> that price. This was sent to me in pre-R, and I may repurchase it someday, but that day is no time soon. Moisturizers is a category that takes me forever to go through. One, because you don't need a lot of it, and two, I only use moisturizer at night, just because I use my sunscreen as my moisturizer. But I did happen to use up the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Nourishing Night Cream. Even though this says it's a night cream, when you hear night cream, you think of something that's like thick, emollient. This ain't that. It feels like a regular schmegular moisturizer. I don't think it's anything amazing, honestly. I think the e.l.f. Cleansing Balm is cute, but this night cream, meh. I do love this product though. This is the Ordinary Bee Oil. I don't use facial oils very much in my routine, so it's not something I'm going to run out and get. But if you're looking for a really good facial oil, the, the bee oil from the Ordinary is so good. I think it's about $10. Definitely one of the more inexpensive oils that you can find it has really good ingredients the smell is kind of funky but when I say it's so softening and nourishing to the skin if you have super dry skin especially in the winter and you want to uh, maintain that moisture in your skin adding an oil or some type of um, aquaphor or um, petroleum jelly type of product will really help the oil is kind of lighter but it's still it still really holds that moisture in and I highly recommend this. I love it so much. I have one mask because I'm not really a masker really. This is the Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. This had a lot of essential oils in it which is not my favorite. And for me it was honestly just a clay mask. A clay mask with a clay mask with a clay mask. And I can definitely get something that's more affordable that just is a just as effective so even though i did get this on sale it's not certain, it's not something that i personally would repurchase now let's talk sunscreen because what are we without our sunscreen sunscreen is the most important part of any skincare routine most of these sunscreens i've talked about in my favorite sunscreens or my reviews of sunscreens so definitely leave my get girl get it together I've been talking way too long. I'll definitely leave my sunscreen playlist so you can check it out. So I'm going to go through these really fast. The first being the Nivea UV uh, Super Water a Gel. Like I said, I mentioned this in my favorite sunscreens video. You can find out more about this one. Same with the Biore 
aqua uv i've talked about this so many times on my channel as well hands down probably my favorite sunscreen i think i can say i think it's great for every skin type so it's one i highly recommend the coast uv waterproof uh sunscreen if you're looking for something in the summer that's elegant it's that asian formula that's like serum like but also is waterproof this is one of the few that i can recommend because a lot of asia sunscreens are better for like everyday sunscreens they're not good for like swimming and sweating this one is actually waterproof so i highly recommend this one for the summer months ahead Derma B everyday sunblock and y'all see I use my sunscreen I oh I cut open my products I'm gonna get everything out of it this one is perfect for uh, dry skin also you can use it on your body I prefer it as a body sunscreen because it does burn my eyes but I still highly recommend it as an amazing affordable sunscreen black girl sunscreen kids I've raved about this on my channel too you can check out that favorites video to learn more it's great for kids and adults like kids it's Kids marketing is literally just marketing. If you can use it on your kids, you can use it on yourself. Honestly, I would just skip the adult version and get the kids version because for me it's better and it's less expensive. The Skin Aqua Super Moisture Gel, I also mentioned this in my favorites as well. And then the RIP. This is the old formula of the B Lab Matcha Hydrating Real Sunscreen. I also mentioned this in my favorite sunscreen, but that was the old formula. I did re I did review the newer formula, and check it out. Just talk about doing the most and doing the least at the same time. And last for sunscreens is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost SPF 30. I didn't even finish this because this pilled like crazy on me, but not only did it burn my eyes, but it also pilled like crazy, regardless of what I use beneath it. Like I still have a lot of it left, and usually I don't waste sunscreen. I try to use it up. Um, even I don't even wanna try it on my body because it just pills so much. I'm just going to, Throw it away because baby girl I don't have time now let's get into body care let's start with feminine washes I did mention all of these feminine washes in my feminine wash video if you haven't seen that video you can check it out I'm not going to talk about them because we don't talk about them this is the always cleanse sensitive wash it is the most affordable uh, feminine wash that I've ever tried if you're looking for an affordable option this is her the L Foam Wash, fragrance free, and all of these are actually fragrance free for the most part. Good Clean Love Balance Feminine Wash, Love Wellness pH Balancing Cleanser, one of the more expensive ones that I've used, and then one from a black owned company, the Honey Pot Soothing Wash, which is excellent. Check out that video to keep your pom pom clean. Let's talk about a few body washes. The first being the Dr. Teal's body wash with Epsom salt. Richmond brought this home, and this was cute. I see why y'all. I see why y'all like Dr. Teal's. It gave your body a nice cleanse, but it didn't strip the skin. And that eucalyptus and spearmint was really like calming. I would definitely try more Dr. Teal's in the future. If you have a favorite fragrance or scent, definitely let me know down below. Salt Air Exotic help skin brightening serum body wash this is my second salt air body wash that I've tried these were sent to me I do like these body washes I don't love this scent I do prefer the Santal bloom but I would definitely pick up a uh, salt air body wash in the future. I do enjoy them. I think they're nice on the skin I think I do have body washes that I do like a little bit better But I do enjoy them. They're just not absolute favorite. This was a fail for me This is the Ulta Beauty Tempting Tangelo Body wash. I was hoping that I would love this because it's affordable I could pick it up from Ulta and this was really basic to me. The scent was basic um, How I felt on the skin was basic. I honestly wouldn't recommend it and then lastly for body washes is the CeraVe SA body wash. This was cool. It was alright. I definitely have a salicylic body wash that I like more. I'll link it down below. 
I wouldn't recommend this. This was sent to me by CeraVe and I wouldn't purchase it with my own money. I have a few body lotions. The first being the Jergens Weightless Wet Skin Moisturizers. I've talked about this in a favorite. I used up these two. I've also used up another Argan Oil one that I didn't save because like I said, I'm not doing empties anymore. The Argan Oil ones to me smells like mos mosquito spray. Um, but I do love this. I've raved about this before and I still enjoy it and I'll definitely repurchase it it works for me all year round but I don't have particularly particularly dry skin but the answer is yes for me and it still is I did not enjoy this and it's because of the scent um, the label girl I don't know what happened to it but this is the um, salt air body lotion and what scent is this I don't know, like the lavender scent. For me, this smelled like straight up Nair. Richman actually is the one that ended up using this and he enjoyed it. Um, I think it's a good body, wa body lotion in terms of what it feels like on the skin, but this scent is funky. I would have to pick up the Santal Bloom scent, which is like my favorite scent, and I would have to try it out because I could not get jiggy with this, and the answer is no in terms of the scent. And then lastly is the Pacifica Vegan Collagen like body milk spray. I sometimes I like this, sometimes I didn't. I felt because I didn't consistently like it, it's not a favor for me. Pacifica products honestly have not really impressed me. Like I have no Pacifica products that I've loved yet. Um and I hate that for them, but hey, I can't force love, you know what I mean? It's either you love it or you don't. And I didn't love it. So the answer is no for me. But these are all of my empties, y'all. This is, like I said, my last empties video. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you want to see more empties from me, check out all my old empties videos. I have so many empties videos on my channel. And this is the end of an era. I definitely will have new exciting content coming. So definitely subscribe so you can see more of that content. And that's it for now. I thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see y'all later. Peace. Bye, y'all.